Hi, everybody. Welcome to School of Prophetic Fire. I'm your host and teacher, Ann Finkelman. I am delighted that you tuned in today, my precious audience. I wanted to um, speak to you today about God answering your prayer, about the closeness and nearness of the Lord. You know, oh, some of you ask me, how do we find you? Well, you can find me on Facebook, Ann Finkelman. You can find me on, um, on YouTube, Shoshana Ministries International, or Shoshana Ministries 21. There's lots of ways you could find me. Ann Finkelman on Facebook, School of Prophetic Fire on Facebook, Shoshana Rose Radio Program we have uh, on Facebook and on YouTube, and Scrolls for His Glory. We're writing books. Our first one's coming out this year. So let me tell you something. I'm so glad that you tuned in. Do you know you could do many things with your time? You've chosen to watch this beautiful program because you're a beautiful soul. You're a beautiful heart. So how about I talk to you just a couple of minutes, if that's okay. I love you with all my heart because you belong to God. And if you don't belong to God, we're going to give you an opportunity to come into the kingdom, beloved of God. So, you know, Jesus is my best friend. He's the love of my life. And I want him to, to, to touch you today in a new and special way. So get your favorite cup of coffee. Get a pencil and paper. We're going to talk about God. We're going to talk about his goodness. We're going to talk about how much he loves you, beloved of God. Wow. I feel the presence of God on this set. This is School of Prophetic Fire. It's an online teaching ministry free to you. Freely I've received, freely I give. I give you the treasures and nuggets of God. I give you Jesus. That's what I have to give you. John chapter 14. Jesus is speaking. The book of John is just wonderful. It's just a wonderful book. Jesus said, Whatsoever you ask in my name, beloved, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, he said, keep my commandments. So if you love him, keep his commandments, beloved of God. He loves you so much. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Oh my gosh, even the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit, which we'll find in John 16:13. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because it sees him not, neither does it know him. But you know him, and he dwells with you, and he shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, says God. I will come to you. Oh my gosh. He was telling them, I will not leave you comfortless. So do you need comfort today? Has someone broken your heart? Has someone wounded you? Has someone violated you, left you for dead? The Holy Spirit is near, even where you are, even now, to comfort you. For he proceeds from the Father. And he said, I will pray the Father, Jesus said, and he shall give you another comforter. Well, Jesus is a comforter as well. And so is the Father a comforter, that he may abide with you forever, forever and ever and ever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. They don't know about God. They don't care about the things of the spirit. But you know, they don't know him, nor do they see him. But you know him, because he shall be with you, and he shall be in you, beloved of God. The spirit of God dwells in you if you belong to God. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you, says the Lord. And you know, I wanted to share with you today the love of God, how rich and pure. The love of God, so rich and pure, it reaches down to the deepest part of your soul. The love of God, so rich and sweet, and that's you, for you. The love of God is reaching down now into the deepest part of your spirit, beloved of God. Why? Because he loves you that much. He loves you that much. He that keeps my commandments 
John 14, 21, and has my commandments and keeps them. It is he that loves me, and he that loves me shall be loved of my Father. And I will love him and will manifest myself to him. God is manifesting himself to you today, beloved of God. He loves you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with, ever lo with loving kindness has he drawn you unto, unto himself. He said, I will love him. That's you. And I will manifest myself to him. And Judas saith unto him, not Iscariot, another Judas. Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself unto us and not unto the world? And Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man loves me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and will come unto him and make our home with him. Do you know that God says that he will come and make his home with you? He loves you that much. He will come and dwell with you and shall be in you, the Bible says. He said, if any man loves me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. And do you know that you are the apple of his eye, that you are his treasure, and you are valued? And he that love, that keeps not my commandments or my sayings is not mine. Oh my gosh, these things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, who is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance and whatsoever I have said to you. So God says, he will send the Comforter to you. He lives in you. He shall be in you. And shall lead you into all truth. For the Holy Spirit is leading you, beloved, into all truth. You may say, oh, I don't know what to do, God. I don't know what to do. Well, today, God says in Psalm, in Psalm 32, 6, I will teach you, 30, yeah, 32, 7, I believe it is. I will teach you and instruct you in the way which you shall go. I will guide you with mine eye. God is teaching you today which direction to go. I decree and declare, beloved of God, that God is leading you in the ways of everlasting, that your, the steps of the righteous grow brighter and brighter, the path of the righteous grows brighter and brighter until the brightness of the day. Your path is growing brighter and brighter, beloved. It's not growing darker and darker. It's growing brighter and brighter because God has promised it. He said, the Holy Spirit will bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I had said unto you. He said, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives, give I unto you. Let not your heart, beloved, be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Let not your heart be troubled. Some of you may have troubled hearts. Some of you may be you know, in depression. Come up out of that depression, beloved of God. Come up out of that pain and sorrow. Psalm 147, verse 3, God says, I am near, the Lord binds up the broken heart and heals your wounds. Jeremiah 3, 17, I bind up your broken heart and heal your wounds. So I wanted to minister today about love, God's love for you, that you do matter and your life does matter. And it doesn't matter what you've done. If you ask God to say, I'm sorry, his blood will cleanse you from all unrighteousness. The Bible says in 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he, Jesus, is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And you know, when God cleanses us, you're cleansed, period. It's a brand new day. It's a brand new season. You're coming up to another level, says the Lord. And I hear the Lord say, it doesn't matter what happened yesterday. This is people that have rejected you, people that have abused you. They just don't see the beauty in you. But God says, I see the beauty in you. I created you for my own glory. I created you for my pleasure. I created you to, to bear my name up before the people. I created you child of God, as my treasure. Your life does matter. You matter to God. I've loved you with an everlasting love, Jeremiah 31, 3, and therefore with loving kindness have I called you and drawn you, drawn you unto myself. John 15, verse 1. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. 
Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you, John 15, verse 3. You are clean because of God's word, beloved. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can you, except you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abides in me, and I in you, the same brings forth much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. If a man abides not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered. And men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me, if your prayers seemingly are not being answered, John 15, 7. If you abide in me, Jesus says, and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. That's you, beloved of God. Herein is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Continue in my love. And if you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love. Isn't that a wonderful promise? As we're keeping his commandments, we abide in his love. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things, Jesus says, have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lays down his life for his friends. Jesus laid his life down. He calls us friends. You are my friends, John 15, verse 14. You are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. And we do because we love God. Henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servant is not what his Lord does, knows not what his Lord does. But I've called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Father I've made known unto you, Jesus said. He said, you have not chosen me. God chose you. you he chose you. The Bible says he chose us while we were yet sinners. Christ died for us. But I have chosen you, he says, and ordained you that you should go and bring forth much fruit. God has much for you to do. He has purpose for you, man and woman of God and that your fruit should remain in the earth and throughout eternity, that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he shall give it to you. And these things I command you, that you love one another. If the world hates you, listen, you're going to be persecuted. If the world hate, hated, hates you, no worries. It hated me before you. If I was of the world, Jesus says, the world would love his own. But because you are not of this world, and I've chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. So if you're being persecuted at work, keep on loving. If you're being persecuted with un, you know, ungodly people, keep on loving. Yes, stand up for truth, stand up for righteousness, stand up for justice, but keep on loving, beloved of God. Remember the word that I said unto you, Jesus said, that the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted you, they will persecute. If they persecuted me, he said, they will persecute you. And they will treat you cruelly. If they tra taught him, uh, treated him cruelly, they will treat you cruelly. If you, if they will, if you have, if they have kept my sayings, they will keep yours also. And all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. Oh my gosh, how much does he love us? When he, the comfort, is come. Chapter 16, verse 13. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you, beloved of God, into all truth. He shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. He is the spirit of God. He will speak to you in dreams. He will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of me, and shall show it unto you. And in that day, you've asked me nothing, John 16, 23. Verily, verily, I say unto you, listen up, beloved of God. 
whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Hitherto now, up to now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you shall receive, that your joy may be full. And in, in that day, you shall ask in my name, and your joy shall be full. And I will pray the Father for you. For the Father loves you with all his heart. And so I just wanted to say to you today, John chapter 14, verse 13 and 14. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. I used to make a list, and I still do. I read John 14, 13, And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I shall do it. And I used to sit in my prayer place, and I used to say to God, You said, whatever I ask in your name, you will give it to me. And let me tell you something, beloved of God. I took that literal, and God is a literal God. He meets you heart to heart. You hear me? If you shall ask, whatever you shall ask in my name, he said, I will give it to you. If you love me, keep my commandments. It's easy to obey God. He's such a loving God. We love him because he first loved us. And guess what? He still loves you today. You are valued, you are treasured, you are loved, and your life does matter. So I used to make a list of all my prayers, and then I'd hold them up to God. Make a list, beloved, and say, Jesus, you said in John 14, 13, and whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that my Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. God has promised. He's promised you. Make your list. Hand it up to God. Say, Lord, you promised, and watch your prayers come to pass one by one. I'm so glad you took these few minutes with, with me, few moments talking about the Lord, allowing me 15, 17, 20 minutes of your time, beloved. I appreciate that. You have many choices with your time. This is Ann Finkelman, School of Prophetic Fire. We love you with all our hearts, and we want you to grow in the things of God. And God's not mad at you. He loves you with an everlasting love. And therefore, with loving kindness has he drawn you unto himself. And listen, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth is in you. If you don't know him today, repeat after me. Lord, I'm sorry for all my sin. I'm sorry that I made mistakes. We've all been there. Forgive me. Cleanse me with your blood. Receive me into your family. Receive me into the household of faith. Give me purpose in my life. I believe that you are the Son of God, and you, you died so I might live. I believe that you were resurrected. I believe now that I will live with you for eternity. In Jesus' name, I am now born again. Amen and amen. If you're a prodigal and you've left the Father's house, come home to Father. Come home. The Father's calling you. Tell him you're sorry. He's preparing a party for you, putting a coat on you, putting a ring on your finger. You that just come into the kingdom, rejoice. Guess what? The angels in heaven are rejoicing. The Bible says they are. For one soul has come into the kingdom, and the prodigal has come home. If you don't have a Bible, go to a Bible store. Tell them you just got saved. If you can buy a Bible, buy one. If you can, ask them for a church in your area, Full Gospel Church, and call the pastor's office and say, I just got saved. I just come home to Father. Please, I need a Bible. Please help me grow in the ways of God. He will. God will help you. I pray and believe God with you that by the Holy Spirit of the living God, he will lead and guide you into all truth because he loves you that much. Find me on Facebook, Ann Finkelman. A-N-N-F-I-N-K-E-L-M-A-N and Shoshana Ministries International, School of Prophetic Fire, Scrolls for His Glory, Shoshana Rose Radio Program. Ann Finkelman Page, I post just about every day 
and interact with the saints of God, letting them know a prophetic word from heaven. For we are messianic prophetic ministry. And if nobody's told you today, I love you in the Lord more and more, but God himself sent Jesus into this world, John 3, 16, to die for you because he loves you that much. Thank you for so many, so many uh, moments of your life that you're watching these programs. Tune in again. I love you more and more. Ann Finkelman, School of Prophetic Fire. Until we meet again, find us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Shoshana Ministries International 21. You will be blessed beyond measure. Why? Because we talk about God. We lift up his kingdom because he loves you that much. That's why we do what we do. See you next time. Bye-bye.